Hey everyone, it's Iman Fandi. I'm at the Straits Times podcast studio and I'm here to perform an acoustic version of my latest single, Top Bob. Hi Iman and welcome to our show. Thank you so much for having me. What is your creative process like as a singer and songwriter? You know, how do you decide like which musical direction to take on, you know, with this song or with that song? I honestly think it just uh, to me it just comes and usually it's the the melody that comes in my head first or even the topic that I want to talk about. And I mean, just a couple days ago I was feeling quite down and I thought okay, let me just write a a sad song because that was how I was feeling and whether I release it or not that's up to me but that's kind of how I create my songs just based on my experience or even when I'm traveling or talking to my friends and they're telling me about something that I feel can be so relatable to other people um these are things that I take in as inspiration as well um my second single love me a little more I asked my friends permission but of course that was actually based off my friends um experience with love and i also permission hey i wrote this song here you can hear it can i put it out for everybody to listen because i'm sure we've all um we can all relate to wanting a little bit more in a relationship or so and that's kind of the process of my songs right right speaking of music and uh, you know you mentioned that your dad was a huge music fan 
you did you know that he had a he had a CD out back in the 90s so I kept my music career and the launch of Time Frame and everything a secret from my family until, yeah, until oh, you did. like a week or so before the press conference. And I told them just so they could, you know, block out their dates. And my dad was like, what? You doing music? Nah, nah, nah. Um, and then eventually he said, you know, I got music too. And I was like, what? And he <laughs> said, yeah, um, search it up so I searched it up <laughs> you googled him again I googled him again and then I saw the cover art of it and it was an album and it's still available you know to listen to on YouTube so I was like okay and I think it was all Malay songs if I'm not wrong so yeah it, I think it was called Anugra Anugra yeah. yeah he never spoke about it at all to his kids <laughs> no but then the other day um, uh, one of our you know family friends found a CD of it oh yeah in, Where? in the in one of our at home at oh, you home. mean yeah, at home yeah, yeah. yeah so he was hiding it yeah <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm.